Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to the Humble Choice Bundle for September. So we have the latest bundle here and it's a pretty decent bundle. I'll be going over this in detail. But before I do that, wanted to mention the Spaced Out bundle is ending in a day. So you have just over 24 hours to grab this one. This is a very good bundle. Uh, maybe in some ways better than the Humble Choice bundle. So Spacer's Choice, uh, sorry, the Outer Worlds um, and the uh, Outer Worlds Expansion, High on Life, Entropy Center, Journey to the Savage Planet, Breath Edge. As I've mentioned previously, $15 tier is the one that I would recommend. With Starfield out and maybe it's being too expensive and you're not sure about it, Outer Worlds might be the next best thing. It's very similar in terms of the Bethesda style RPG. It's made by Obsidian who have made Fallout New Vegas before. I have played this game. It's a pretty fun game. It's not the same space exploration style game, but it is a space RPG. So this one here is pretty good. Make sure to grab this. It is your last chance. And now let's go over to the Humble Choice bundle and see what we have this month. All right, so the Humble Choice for September, as always, has eight games for $12, a couple of big games, and a surprising game here as well that I wanted to talk about as well. So Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is the main game here, and it is the Chaotic Great Edition, which is like the one with the season pass. So an even better deal than expected. Next, we have Deceive Incorporated. This is your uh, spying multiplayer style game. I've heard a bit about this one, but I didn't realize it was a newish game. Then we have a surprising game in the form of The Forgotten City. Now, The Forgotten City is an interesting game. It's set in ancient Rome. Um, mysterious things happen. But that's not the reason why it is uh, something I want to talk about, because it is basically the game that I use to show how bad the regional prices have increased. This game here in India was about 580 and they have increased the base price on this one to about 1800, 1900 roughly. So this is one of the worst sort of price increases. So having this in the humble choice means you can actually get it now without breaking the bank as it were. Next we have Aces and Adventures. So this is like your uh, board game with card mechanics, stuff like that. Or is it just card game? There's like two card games in this one. Then we have Patch Quest, so this is your bullet hell uh, style game, and it, this one actually looks fun. We have Four Tales, so this is another board games, card game style game. I've heard good things about this one, and also this is in the Prime Gaming this month, so if you have Prime, you can grab it there. Next we have uh, Who Pressed Mute on Uncle Marcus, FMV style game, and then we have Autonauts vs. Pirate Bots. This is your strategy game and it looks sort of like Minecraft and stuff like that. But let's talk about the main games here. We start off first with Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Now, most people would be getting this bundle for this game. And I can see why, because this is a fairly newish game, uh, very popular from the Borderlands series, you could say a spin-off here, graphically looks good. It's uh, I've wanted this for a while and it's not a cheap game either. Now. The base game here is $60, but we are getting the Chaotic Great Edition. So that is an $80 game. All right. And the lowest this has gone on Steam is $26.39, $26.40 roughly. And we are getting this one for $12. So without a doubt, you can, if you really wanted this game, it's a popular game, get the bundle, get this game, everything else is bonus after this. Because you would be paying 26 more than double on steam and that is a 67 percent off so don't expect a 90 percent off anytime soon it's only came out on steam in uh, june i'm not sure did it release first on epic maybe it may have and then uh so yeah so chaotic grid let me show you what the chaotic grid is so where is it uh do they have the details for basically it is the yeah, so this is the full game, Season Pass, which includes Bot Stallion Pack, Blight Collar Class, Four Dungeons, and New Bosses, Loots, and Environments, Dragon Lord Pack Bonus Content, um, and Four New Dungeons. Now, over here, we have the Season Pass, and we have these dungeons. I think these are the things that are included here. 
four dungeons because these are the four dungeons here uh, and the reviews are not particularly great um, there people are saying that they are just sort of more dungeons there four dungeons and uh, with some randomized loot so if it's the same thing here in the thing so you are already getting everything so yeah 26 for the chaotic great edition uh, more than double the price of the bundle so yeah i'm leaning towards getting the bundle just for this game because i wanted this one and it's not cheap so you could get it for 12. now 12 dollars in india is roughly um just under a thousand rupees the lowest this goes on steam on in india is about 1088 for the base version i haven't found the price for this one but uh, yeah so even in india with the regional price, it's still cheaper to get the bar. Now, next game is Deceive Incorporated. It's published by Tripwire. It's got a nice sort of cool, you could say, spy 60s style look to it. Graph cartoony, uh, sort of Fortnite style graphics, you could say. And yeah, it seems interesting if you like these uh, online uh, co-op PvP, PvE style. I don't know if it's PvE, but it's basically other people there you could be anyone and there's some spying elements here that quite a few games I've seen like this I've never been into these sort of games and so this one here is not an expensive game either it's $15 it says here historic lows uh, free on Steam in uh, April I don't remember it being free maybe they're mixing it up with a free to play weekend if it was free then obviously I missed it but I doubt they would drop a new game for free may have been a free to play weekend so anyway, this one here, as you can see, is $15 on sale right now. Again, more than the price of the bundle, but I doubt people would be buying the entire bundle for this one. And then, of course, I wanted to talk more in detail about the Forgotten City. So Forgotten City looks very good. You can see overwhelmingly positive game. Uh, lowest it has gone on uh, Steam is around 12 and a bit. You can see here historic low 11.24 on GOG. So it's been a bit cheaper on GOG. On Steam, it has been 50% off. I've seen that. Now, the issue here is you can see the price here in India is 1840. It wasn't 1840 up until January of this year because I did buy it in January on sale. And it was about 589 rupees full price. And with the sale, it was like 400. However, now it is 1840. So if anybody in India wants it, it's 920 on sale. So that is again about $11 which is close to the price of the entire bundle. So if you are in India, if this bundle would make sense for you for Tiny Tina's Adventure and The Forgotten City, because that is your biggest savings. And this is a very interesting looking game. It's a Skyrim mod, basically, made into a separate game. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Reviews are overwhelmingly positive, 93% overall. Definitely try this game if you want something a little different, but... Uh, uh, with a bit of a time travel mystery element so this is i think in my opinion the two main games are these two and then we have a nice little indie game patch quest so it is basically your bullet hell roguelite style of game i think it's another game similar to the ones we are seeing right now with all the vampire survivors and those style of games but with a more cartoony feel to it and yeah, it looks good. Uh, why not? But it's not an expensive game. As you can see here, it's on sale for seven and a half. But these are the bonus games that are fun uh, when you add them together. But yeah, so again, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, Forgotten City, everything else is bonus in my opinion. In fact, Tiny Tina's Adventure is the game you need to focus on. If you don't want this game, then this bundle is a meh. But if you want this game, then this is solid. And I think most people would be happy to get this. Um, I don't know when it will go cheaper. It's already 67% on sale. So they'll probably run the 67% for a while and then go maybe a little more 75 or something once in a while. But yeah, overall, I'm uh, happy with this, mostly because I don't have this one and I wanted this one. I think it's a solid pickup for $12. So yeah, that's a quick review for this month's bundle. Definitely worth it in terms of the price. And definitely Forgotten City is also a nice bonus to have, even though it's not the main two games they highlight. I think this one is probably the one I would have over the CV corporate. But yeah, links in the description. Don't forget the spaced out bundle. You have 24 hours to pick up that one. 
and yeah thank you for watching see you next time